Oh my god, I wasn't recording! Hi guys, so all of you said that my mom was a bad mom for cleaning my room. Well, I was gone. Um, so I decided to destroy it again and record myself cleaning it since you guys wanted me to clean it so bad. Um, it's really disgusting right now because I was sick for a week, so if you don't like disgusting rooms, then don't watch it. But, uh, yeah. It's like really disgusting. It gets really bad, so. Uh, mom, don't watch this part. Okay, so this is our before. It's like so disgusting and so bad because everything I've been eating is in here. And I like threw it before and it's just so bad. So, um, yeah. So, I'm um, the first thing. Okay, so like the plan is I'm gonna wash my bedding because I washed it like while I was still sick. But I need to wash it again because I thought that would be like done being sick, but I wasn't. And then I got like fiberglass off my bed yesterday because we went to the house and there's fiberglass on me and I sat on my bed and it's all over my bed. And so I'm going to clean that. Um, and then I'm going to like pick up everything off the floor and like pick up everything and get a big trash bag and throw stuff away. And then I'm going to take all the furniture. I'm going to take my rug out and sweep that area. And then I'm gonna take all my furniture and put it in the middle and like clean everything and um, just hope that it is good enough. So yeah, I'm probably, I don't know. It's really bad, I'm sorry, it's really bad. That's all I can say. So yeah, I'm gonna start now with my bedding. So if you guys couldn't sense her tone in the beginning, it was obvious sarcasm and a little bit of shade. I mean, apples don't fall far from trees. I will say that I'm very proud that she took the initiative this day. Um, she honestly just had a really bad cold, but within today's times, so we decided to keep her home. I stayed home with her on Monday, and then she was kind of alone on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, her brother was home because he's doing hybrid. But, um, you know, I, I was proud in the fact that she took the initiative to go ahead and start cleaning her room and working on it, and took the initiative that it was gross. She is my dirty bird. She is the one that is always messy um but you know she takes initiative for it and you know if you ever want someone to be on your side and have your back have a daughter the older she gets she's not gonna let anyone come for me i don't mind cleaning my kids rooms every now and then i don't do it every week i don't even do it once a month but you know i do clean my room for my kids sometimes and honestly it's making content on youtube as well but people do come at you. But I've heard a lot of YouTubers say that. And I'm not like a popular YouTuber, but you know, it does okay, give content. So it's it's, kind of, it's a really good before. Go get a trash bag. And then I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna shake my rug out and roll it up and put it outside my room. And move. Just move anything I can outside my room. Probably in my bed, that's too. Um, probably imagine pretending you're asleep. Yeah, so that's what we're doing next. I will say in the new house, that cat tree that she has is not coming with us. That's going to go to the dump or something, I don't know. Um, and then Maui's food and water will be downstairs in the kitchen with Simba's. We're going to get those raised trays for them. I just pray that the dog gets the cat's food and vice versa. Um, and then she also won't have the litter box in her room. That'll actually most likely be in the laundry room or the garage. So uh, she will still have to keep up with it because that's how she has her, that's how she pays for her cell phone. Uh, but it won't be in her room, and I think that that will keep things a little bit cleaner, especially where I go in and start a load of laundry every morning, so I will see the litter box, so I will be on her more to, you know, sweep and take care of it. And I know that it's not my responsibility to be on my kids, but it also kind of is my responsibility to be on my kids because I'm a mom and that's my job, and that's something that I definitely laugh a little bit. She also should not be eating or drinking in her room. She's only allowed to supposed to have one cup of water, which she normally uses for hydro flask. However, she was sick, and at first we didn't know what it was, so we kind of kept her quarantined from the entire house, so that's kind of why she has all that stuff built up. I do wish that she would have cleared it out, but it is what it is. Kitchen break. People do them and they're... So I finished my cleaning video. And now I need to clean my own room. I think I'm just gonna shake up my rug next and start getting furniture out of the way because furniture is annoying. And, um, 
I don't really know. I'll probably go get my brother to help me, but I'm pretty sure he's playing Fortnite. Let's go ask him. Can you come help me get the bed out of my room? Bed? Yeah, my bed. Because I'm cleaning. Why do you need your bed out? Because I'm getting all the furniture out so I can clean it really good before we move. Yeah, but my room is disgusting and I'm just doing it all now. Because I showed them that you're a butthead whenever you play Fortnite. You're not that bad right now, though. Are you gonna help me? Come in here after the game, please. Okay, so we got the rug in the home, and now we have to get the mattress in the hallway and the bedding that doesn't ow, have glass on it in the hallway. I'm gonna work on this section. I got distracted and watched YouTube, but I have to put like there's some clothes over here away. Um. I Okay, so basically I have these clothes and those clothes that I need to put away. I think there might be some in my closet. But all the ones in my closet are put away. There's just like bags. I need to start organize it. And then I have, and then cleaning up that corner. But I don't even know where to start over there. That way I can move every, I can sweep everything and um, mop everything and scrub everything. Put my bed back in here, put the bedding on, and then we should be pretty close to done. Look at this thing I got for my birthday. It's a sweatband, and so like, like whenever you're working out, you put it on, like this one, I think. I don't really know, to be honest. But you put it on like this, I think, and then you sweat a bunch. I don't know how tight it has to be though. Okay, I have to go change the battery, and then I'm gonna start working on the clothes. My girls are sharing a room at the new house, and to start, they're just going to have their closet, their beds, and then they both get a dresser. Uh, because there's two of them, they may get a nightstand in between their two beds. We haven't decided yet, uh, but they're going to have pretty much next to nothing in their rooms. All of their beauty stuff, their lotions, sprays, perfumes, anything like that, jewelry, it's all going to be in the bathroom. They actually have a closet in their bathroom, which would be really, really nice. Um, so I'm gonna organize that with bins and things like that to keep it organized. And then they will slowly earn back the right to have, you know, extra little decor things and stuff like that because I just don't think that they've earned it. Like they just cannot keep clean, you know, like I think there's just too much stuff and they just don't even know what to do with it. A huge reason why we bought the house we bought is because we are downsizing, we are getting a smaller house and just having less stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to suck not having, you know, a bag for all the things we want them for or to have a ton of surplus of things that we want around the house. But I think in the long run, it'll make everybody happier just to have less stuff and just to be able to spend our time enjoying life instead of cleaning up and organizing and decluttering and all that stuff. Um, it's going to be different. You know, they're going to have carpet and that really, really worries me that they're going to ruin it. Um... But, you know, we'll see. We also, the kids tend to spend a lot of time in their rooms because their rooms are so big and they have everything in it. And the way that we're setting up the new rooms, I think it's going to be more family friendly because all of the video games and things like that will be downstairs where everyone kind of has to be together. Um, I accidentally found in the back of my closet all a bunch of clothes that fell. I just want to show you guys this shirt because I love it so much. It's just my favorite shirt in the entire world. And I just put it over a black t-shirt and I just like it a lot. In the new house, I believe they want white or gray bedding. The beds that they picked, they want in fabric. Um, like I think it's tufted bed, 
they're just going to get a plain white long dresser from Ikea rather than tall. Uh, if we feel that they need another one, we may let them get another one where there's two of them in there and then they each have their own dresser. But again, we got to just kind of see how much space they're going to have. Uh, and then it's going to be kind of like a light room. They're going to have LED lights around the ceiling. They're going to have those like plug-in lights. Um, Ellie is getting a rainbow or a butterfly. And then they also saw like a moon, um, a bunch of different signs. They're really, really cool that plug in. They also have some curtain fairy lights. I think that their room's gonna be really, really cute. And then they're gonna have a big mirror and that's gonna be about the extent of their decor. And I think that that'll be best for them because they both are kind of best. The battery cut off, but we got it all sweeped, and then we're gonna do one door vacuum. And um, we then we're gonna mop in here, and then we'll be almost done. And then we just have to organize that, and that'll be tomorrow's prize possession job. In case you wanted a vacuum, so I'm letting it. I'm just finishing my brush here. I ended up getting what Aubrey had, so this day was the first day that I was really bad, so I pretty much stayed in my room all day, so it was really nice whenever I came out of my room on Friday night and saw that it was really nice and clean and organized, and I think she is learning over time, but it's just not worth it to have all this stuff. Uh, the beach sign, that little picture frame and the turtle are all going in my office in the new house. Um, I do want to kind of showcase our travels in that room, our Disney travels, cruise, the beach, things like that. So I think it'll be a really fun room and it's nice that I've had all this stuff that she had in her room before to decorate.